Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I want to be able to mow right next to this fence line. But as you can see, we have all these branches overhanging here, which prevent me from driving a mower along this, or a bush hog, or anything else. So today, I've got the skid loader and the precision manufacturing high reach tree shear, and we're going to see if we can go down this fence line and trim all this up and get access to it again. Should be a lot of fun. First, I'm going to show you some sped up footage of the entire process of trimming this tree. Then I want to give you some first person point of view of how it feels operating this and what your visibility is like from the cab. If you're interested in getting this unit, you can save 5% at agfolks.com by using code ROCKHILL. I'll have a link in the description. I'm going to try to position the camera to show you what I see from my seat. I can see the cylinder moving right now. I don't know if you can see that. Now, this is my point of view as I, if I'm working up above. I can look out here. If I lean forward just a little bit, I have this view or I can look through here and have that view. I normally try to look through there and I get one point of view, then I look under and get another point of view and I can tell where I'm at. Well, I probably need to make one more trip down here to get some of this scraggly brush and then I will be able to drive down this and mow it for the first time since I bought the property. 
And yes, that could be accomplished with a pole saw. No, I would not rather do it with a pole saw. Pole saw seems great, but it's just like this attachment on the skid loader. Everything's a little harder than it looks when you actually go out to do it. And that pole saw is really heavy and the branches are falling on your head and stuff's falling in your eyes. And I like doing it from a nice heated and cooled cab with a full protective enclosure around me. It's handy. So anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.